Hello everybody, this is Kyrix, and uh, I'm here with something a little different again. Uh, I've been trying to spice things up and make alterations to my channel. Hi Rio. Things like uh, my new video every day thing, you know. And in the past, I would do contests and stuff with uh, friends like Henri and Kyler. But for whatever reason, those almost always fell apart, and they're kind of a pain in the ass to coordinate, so I'm sitting here thinking, what kind of gimmick can I pull off? Well, I come up with something I think might be fun, <coughs> and it's a pretty simple concept. It's a little trivia thing. Now, the odds of anyone knowing this information are pretty slim, although the trivia question's in uh, in question, so to speak. Some of them have been mentioned before in some videos. Whether or not I aired those, I don't remember. So, basically, you've got a 1 in 10 shot of this. And how this is going to work is I'm going to name a video game and 10 songs. <coughs> uh, basically, the gist behind this is several video games, not every video game that I own and really play, but several video games, for whatever reason, have, in my mind, become associated with a single song. Where when I hear that song, I think about that game, and when I play that game, I think about that song. Because usually, I would, way back in the day when I first had my PlayStation, back when the PS2 was a myth, you know, it wasn't, well, it wasn't even a myth, it was still new shit, you know. Or the PlayStation was still new shit. We're talking the Final Fantasy VII eras, when that was a new game before eight even came out. Just to show you how far back this was. I would uh, I had a very limited selection of music. Most of it was my mother's at the time, and later on I got my own CDs. But I would put on put a CD in a player, find one song, and just hit that thing on loop and play it for however long I played. And gradually, it became a sort of a musical muscle memory for me. You know, Rio, quit. Be a good girl. <coughs> so, what this little contest is, is um, I'm going to name a game and ten songs. Now, to be fair, every single one of these songs that I will mention is a song that I do listen to and do have on the computer or on my MP3 player or on CD or whatever. The gist is, not the gist, the point is, it's something I listen to, so I'm not going to throw something out like, ha ha, you, you guessed wrong, I don't even like that song. No. These are all legitimate chances to amend this song, in most cases. Some of these, for example, might be, oh, it might not be contemporary for the time period, you know? Like, for example, I could have put, for, for example, the first game I'm going to mention is Resident Evil 1. I could put something from Owl City on there, but. Well, that wasn't around the time, no, but for all you know, I've been playing Resident Evil 1 and jamming to Owl City stuff, you know? Um, now, you're probably thinking, well, if it's a contest, it's got to have a prize, and I don't really have good good uh, record with prizes simply because I'm so broke. So, what I'm doing is offering a project, basically. Go kitty. What happens is, each person who enters this will get one chance to guess a song. And I will be doing these just in case I get high traffic on this, which, given my viewer base, I don't expect huge traffic numbers, you know. <coughs> but let's say I have 30 people doing this and 7 guess the song. I'm going to be looking at the timestamps on the comments, and whoever guessed it first gets it. Now I'm dancing around this. What's the prize? The prize is this. You get to name a game from the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, and Game Boy Advance. You get to name one game from one system that I have access to as a ROM for emulation purposes. And I will do a Let's Play of that game. And... Naturally, there's some games I just suck at. Like, for example, if you give me Battletoads, don't expect a lot, because I kind of garbage at that game. I've never gotten beyond the second level of that. Even later on, I've never done it. 
<coughs> so what you get is this. If it's a fairly short game and I'm capable of it, I will play it all the way through. If it is not a short game, you're guaranteed at least 10 episodes, or however long I can do. I'm going to try and do 10 episodes if I can. If it's something simple like, say, let's say Mario Brothers Lost Levels, which I've never beaten, but I, I imagine I could if I actually cared enough to sit down and do it. I don't think that would require 10 videos unless I did, like, one per world section, and even then, it'd probably only be 7 or 8, I imagine, because eight's usually the number. Whereas if you want something like, say, oh, what's a game? Um, Secret of Evermore. Naturally, that's going to take more than 10 videos, but it's not too difficult that I can't just play the whole thing through. Um, if it is something that, for whatever reason, is beyond me, I will try and mash out as many videos, give it an honest attempt, and if I just hit a wall that I can't pass, then I'll show you what I got, you know? So, <coughs> Resident Evil 1, the original one, not, not the uh, remake for the GameCube, we're talking PlayStation Black Label, in the frickin' DVD box that they used to have back in the day. I'm going to name ten songs. One of these is the song that I associate most with Resident Evil. First song on the list is Seize the Day from the Newsies soundtrack. Second on the list, Boys of Summer, specifically the Atari version. That is, the Atari's the band, not the Atari 1700 or whatever. Song number three, Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. Song number four, Bring Me to Life, Evanescence. Song number five, Big City Nights by Fozzie. Uh, what number was that? Five? Yeah. Song number six, The Growing Pains theme. Obviously from Growing Pains. Number seven, The Touch by Stan Bush. Number eight, Don't You Want Me Baby, Human League. Number 9, I Want You Back from the Jackson 5. And number 10, Magic Dance from the Labyrinth soundtrack, sung by David Bowie. Make your guess. If you get it right and are the first person to get it right, I'll let you know in the comments. And uh, pick a game. I will do the game. I will try and get it out in a timely fashion. It will be a priority. It will air independently of my current schedule, which means it will be an extra Hell, you can even request what day, like, oh, I really want to, I don't like your your Tuesday Let's Play, so can you air this on Tuesdays for me? Sure, I'll get it done as soon as I can, and I'll start airing it on your day of choice. Or if you want, I can make it an everyday thing, starting with, you know, whatever arbitrary day I finish on. Um, there are rules. It has to be in the English language, because I am linguistically retarded. That's the nicest way to say it. <clears throat> Number two, it has to be something I can get as a ROM. And, uh... Number three, you might have to check with me because I have so much crap on this computer, it may be something I've already gotten halfway through. So, in that case, I'll let you know, and you can tell me what your next game choice is. And if you don't enter this, that's fine. That just means that, uh... Maybe you'll be one of the... Maybe you got a 1 in 10 shot any time of getting this right. 1 in 10 chance of getting a game you want to see Let's Played, Let's Played. So, best of luck. Let's hope this becomes a thing. Bye, everybody.